здесь работает ДПО. Alexander Mazurkin getting his first view of the International Space Station. Pavel Vinogradov getting his first view since several years ago, back in 2006. And even though Chris Cassidy flew on STS-127, the International Space Station changed so rapidly during the final uh, few shuttle missions that uh, this orbiting complex is going to look quite a bit different even since he was there. Yes, we have oscillation, but probably it's very flexible. A range 485 meters. The Soyuz 34 continuing to close in on the International Space Station, parts of the Russian segment and the truss of the International Space Station very clearly coming into view now. There's a look at the Soyuz 34 from the space station's cameras as it continues to close in. These two vehicles are traveling high above the South Pacific Ocean, currently just to the west of South America. The range rate is going down 80 meters. There were just four. Copy. This vehicle is 80 meters away from the International Space Station, approaching between 1 and 2 meters per second. 80 meters, zero four. Copy, less than a minute prior to night. 40 meters, copy. Our Right here in the middle. We are now in the target is nearly at the very center. Just a few meters now in between the Soyuz and the International Space Station standing by for contact and capture. The target is the center. In place. Copy. Waiting for the search for the capture. So congratulations. Contact and capture confirmed at 9.28 p.m. Central Time, 10.28 p.m. Eastern Time. The two vehicles flying high above the Pacific Ocean, just to the west of Peru. Once again, Chris Cassidy, Alexander Mazurkin, and Pavel Vinogradov have arrived at the International Space Station after close to six hours from launch to docking. So this is our final destination, final station.